Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to visualize the angular charts of Syncfusion by adding some relevant text, images or shapes to the particular chart area. To add such a text or image elements into the chart area, I may need to make use of the annotation feature of angular chart. Before looking onto it, let me show you a simple example here. In this plain chart, you can see the weather statistics data recorded for a week. Here, the temperature values are displayed at the y-axis and to enhance the visual appearance of the chart, the image annotation sun is added near the highest temperature value. So, you can easily view and understand what the chart data is trying to illustrate. Now, I will show you how to add annotations to the angular chart using my existing application. As I have already explained about how to add a simple angular chart of Syncfusion to the angular application, please listen to my getting started video to know the basic steps. And you can also find its reference link in the description part below. Here, in my existing application, I have added the spline series chart type now with its relevant properties to view the weather statistics data. As I am directly going to show you how to add annotations to the angular charts in this video, Therefore, let's have a quick recap about the properties I have defined in this application now for rendering this spline series chart. Firstly, in the app module file, I have imported and injected the spline series service and category service from Syncfusion EJ2 Angular Charts package to start using the spline chart type with category axis. Here, I have set the chart series type as spline and assigned its data source value with the weather statistics data. Also, you can notice here that I have mapped its appropriate data source fields to the xname and yname properties. Apart from these properties, I have also set the title for x and y axis as well as the main title for the chart with the relevant text labels. And additionally, I have set the value type of x axis as category to display the text labels on x axis. Also, I have formatted the label of y-axis with custom template value to display the temperature in Celsius format. And then, I have also enabled the data marker on the chart. Now, you can view the spline chart output with its simple defined properties. Now, I am going to show you how to add annotations to the angular chart. Within the app module file, I need to import the chart annotation service from Syncfusion EJ2 angular charts package and inject the same within the provider section as well. Then, to add the annotation, let me open the app component HTML file. I need to define the annotations directive inside the chart tab, which can have more than one e annotations tab. Along with this, I may need to define the ng template option inside this e annotation tab to add any customized HTML template value in it. And then, to add annotations to the Angular charts, I need to define content option in the ng template tab. As I am going to use the image annotation, so let me create an image element within the div element. Now I need to add the image, so let me set the image path using the source attribute and also set its height and width using the style attributes. So here you can view the chart output with image annotation which is displayed on top at left side of the chart. Now. To set the image position, I may need to use the coordinate units property. To this property, I can set either the pixel or point values. When I set the coordinate units value as pixel, the annotation will get positioned based on x and y coordinates of a page. In case, if I set its value as point, then the annotation will be positioned based on the x and y values of the data point. Now, I have planned to display the image near the highest temperature value, so I need to define the coordinate units property and set its value in points with the specific x and y value. Therefore, I have set the x value as Tuesday and y value as 32 as the highest temperature value in the data source is 32. And now, you can view the chart output with image annotation added near the highest temperature value 32. Here. The image is displayed exactly based on the x and y values. So, to align the image at top, bottom or middle based on the y-axis, you can use the vertical alignment property. And if you want to align the image horizontally, near, far or center based on the x-axis, you can achieve it by using the horizontal alignment property. Now, I am going to align the image at top. 
So within the app component HTML file, I have set its vertical alignment property as top. So now you can view the chart output where the image is aligned at the top position. In this chart output, by default, the image is placed with respect to the overall chart area. Now, if I want to place it with based on the series, then I may need to make use of the region property by setting its value as series. Okay, that's all about the annotation feature. So now let me make a quick recap about this session. Here, I have shown you how to add image annotation to the angular charts of Simfusion and also how to position the images using the coordinate and alignment properties. If you find this video as useful, then give a like and subscribe to our channel as well. Thank you so much for watching this video.